This video is brought to you by E. No, it's not brought to you by EA. What am I saying? What am I doing? We'll do it live, guys. We'll do it live. Roll the tape. Hey guys, it's Wade with Mulehorn Gaming here once again to be the ying to all the yang that you see on YouTube, Twitter, all the social medias, the comments, all that fun stuff. We're here to talk about the big, bad EA games. We're going to talk about them, guys, because apparently they ruin every game that they ever make. And today, it's being brought up with the game Anthem. So we're just going to lend a little perspective to the conversations that you see on Twitter or YouTube comments or Facebook or wherever you go. Because almost every post that you see about Anthem or Anthem related games, you're going to see a comment talking about EA ruins games. EA's horrible. EA, they're greedy. All they want to do is make money. Newsflash. They're a business. They got to make money. So let's just give a little bit more perspective on EA. They make some of the best games that I've ever played. Yes, I'm not paid to say that. I'm just telling you the truth. And let's just go down the list of games that they've made that you wouldn't have got to enjoy if it wasn't for EA footing the bill for the development for the game itself. So let's take a look. Well, first, of course, there's Anthem. I mean, the game just came out in 2019. And, you know, this is what's kind of spurring this video. And then, of course, there's Apex Legends, but don't talk about Apex Legends because it's really good and no one wants to talk really bad about Apex Legends, even though it's made by EA. And we'll move on. The next up is Army of Two. If you never played this game on the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, you're, you need to do yourself a favor. Go play Army of Two. Batman Begins on the Game Boy Advance, GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox released in 2005. That game wouldn't have been here without EA. Hmm. Battlefield, Battlefield 1942. All the Battlefield series. Oh, and let's talk about EA Sports. Remember NCAA football? Madden? Yeah. Wouldn't have had those without EA. Oh, how about something as fun as this? Rock Band. Yeah, published by EA. We wouldn't have been able to play Rock Band. I don't know how many hours I spent playing the drums in Rock Band. So much fun. Burnout Paradise. We wouldn't have that game either. Huh. Command and Conquer. Hmm. Dead Space. Did someone say Dead Space? Did that Was Dead Space made by EA? I don't remember. Dragon Age Origins, probably one of the best Dragon Age games ever. Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, and the new one that's coming out soon. Man, wouldn't have had those without EA. Oh, what about the original Diablo in 1996 by PlayStation? Yeah, wouldn't have had that one either. FIFA, for all those who love soccer, you wouldn't have had FIFA without EA. And this is bringing it back really old school. Ultima, oh, and did we mention Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3? Yep, wouldn't have happened without EA. Mass Effect Andromeda, Yep, wouldn't have happened without EA. Medal of Honor, yep, those wouldn't have happened without EA. Plants vs. Zombies, yep, wouldn't have happened without EA. Oh, and let's not forget about Titanfall 1 and 2. Holy smokes, how can we forget about Titanfall? Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Star Wars Rise of Power, Star Wars The Old Republic, and the new Star Wars game that's coming out that we're going to see at Star Wars Celebration. Huh, wouldn't have had that without EA. I could go on and on in my list, but really, that's not the point of this video. The point is to lend perspective. EA has made mistakes in the past. They're not perfect. No publisher is perfect. But this will help lend perspective when you see comments on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or wherever you go when they're talking about Anthem and how it's ruined because of EA. It's quite the contrary. Without EA, we wouldn't have Anthem. They foot the bill and they expect a return on that investment. Plain simple business. That's how it is. That's the gaming industry. So here's Mulehorn117 signing off again, being the ying to the yang that's on the social media networks. Remember guys, when in doubt, blow it up.